servants bow in your presence. Yes. We come with heads bowed and hearts uplifted yes. to you. Yes. Master, we just come to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And masters, at times that we, we wish our vocabulary had other words. Yes. 
that we could say something that would be more than what we say every time we bow our knees. But Father God, I was brought up by my parents and they told me sometime the best thing you can say when someone does something for you to say thank you. So we come this morning saying thank you. We thank you for being the almighty God that you are. We thank you for being the God of all of creation. For we realize that you are mighty God, Master. And we thank you for watching over us and keeping us all the days of our lives, Master. We thank you for keeping us from last Sunday to this Sunday, Master. And Father God, we realize that there were many things that happened in the midst of this week, Master. But we realize that you kept us, Master. And we realize that trouble was all over this world, Master. But we say thank you because you kept trouble from our doorsteps, Master. We just thank you for being that kind of God, Master. The Father God, we come praying for those that might be suffering or going through something this morning, Father. We pray for the sick and afflicted all over this land and country. We pray for those that are behind prison walls, Father, and those that are prison bound. We pray that you would touch them and help them to realize before it's everlasting too late that they have a soul to save and a God to glorify, Master. We just thank you for being the mighty God that you are, Master. And Father God, we realize that we haven't done all the things you told us to do. We have not even done some of the things we could have done, Master. Well, we thank you for being the God that you just keep on giving us another chance. We say thank you, Master. And Father, we realize that we got some people going through some things this morning, Father. I'll come lifting up all the members of the New Light Ebenezer Church, Father. I pray that you'll bless the homes that we come from, Master. We pray that you'll bless our homes, be homes of love, of peace, of prayer, of joy, and of thanksgiving, Master. Father God, we pray for our pastor this morning. Father, we pray that you will continue to strengthen him. Lead God and direct him in the way that you would have him to go. In the way that you would have him to lead your people. Now, Father God, we come praying for these singers that have gathered this morning, Father. I pray that you would bless them to sing until the power of you come down, Master. I come praying for our music directors, Father. Our musicians, Father. I pray that you will continue to strengthen them, Master. Have thine own way. Then, Father God, I come praying for every auxiliary of this church, Father. I pray for the leaders of those auxiliaries, Master. I pray that you would touch them, that you would give them guidance, that you would give them strength, Father. Give them the strength to keep on keeping on in your name. Then, Father God, we realize that somebody's lost a loved one. Somebody's heart is heavy, somebody's head is hung down. But I pray that you would touch them right where they are. Help them look unto the hills from whence cometh their help and to realize that all of our help comes from you, Master. And, Father God, we realize this earth is not our home. We realize we too one day going to have to go down from this place, Master. But I pray that you would be with them that lonely and that found out. Cross us safely to the other side. Give us a resting place somewhere in your kingdom. Where we praise your name throughout eternal ages. These and all of the blessings we ask the mighty powerful name of Jesus the Christ. Our Lord and our Savior. Amen. 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 Thank the deacons for such affirming devotion. It's always good to hear a prayer from one who sincere mm. and includes us in it. Amen. It's now time for our congregational hymn. You stand with me and sing, Bless the wonderful name of Jesus. The words are printed in our program. And the morning congregational hymn, let us lift our voices, for he's yeah. worthy to be praised.
one of the psalms says, I was just glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Our scripture reading this morning is from Psalms 8. Shall begin reading at the first verse. Psalms 8. And the follow we have prayer by Reverend Shields. Amen. Psalms 8. I know some of us know it by heart, but if you join in with us. Amen. Psalms 8. Living in the time, you got to be a little patient. For we all need the word of God. Amen. Yeah. I don't know about you, but I found out my friends ain't around all the time. But the word of God is. Amen. I don't care what store I go in now, Deacon. I can find the word of God. Because everybody ain't reading it. A collection of colors. If you want a red, blue, or black. Amen. Psalms 8. Have it say amen. Beginning with the first verse. Oh, Lord. Our Lord, uh -huh. how excellent is thy name right. in all the earth, who has set thy glory above the heavens. Uh -huh. Out of the mouth of babes and sucklings has thy ordained strength. Because of thy enemies, thou hast mighty steel, the enemy and the avenger. Uh-huh. When I consider thy hands, thy heavens, the works of thy fingers, the moon and the stars, which thou hast ordained, what is man that thou art mindful of him, and the son of man that thou visited him? For thou hast made him a little lower than angels, and hast crowned him with glory and honor. That includes the reading of God's word. May God have a blessing upon the readers, hearers, and doers. It may be seated as we can be led in prayer by the Amen. Right. Right. Have the Lord did anything for you this morning? Amen. Did he wake you up and start you on another day's journey? Amen. Did you dress yourself this morning? You didn't need no help. God is good. All the time. God is good. Let us go to God in prayer. Amen. Oh dear God. Yes. The creator and maker of heaven and earth. Yes. Oh dear God, the one that spoke. Uh -huh. and put the, this nation, this world, this planet in place. Oh, Lord, we love you, Lord. And we ask, Lord, that you would come into this service today. Oh, dear God, because we can't do anything without you. Oh, dear God, you spoke. This world came into existence. Yes. We thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for bringing us to the house of worship. Right. We drove ourselves, but right. you made a way for us. Right. You removed those obstacles and things that was in our path. Right. And we said, thank you, Lord. Thank God, I love you, Lord. Can't do anything without you. I love you, Lord, because you first love me. The Lord is my shepherd. And I shall not want. Making me to lie down in green pastures. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. I come asking a blessing, dear God, upon 
New Light Ebenezer Baptist Church. Lord, if you don't mind, I just might go around the wall and come on back. We thank you, Lord, for the, the little earth, the choir that's going to sing this morning. Oh, we thank you, Lord, for all that they have done, Lord. They are ready, Lord. Are we ready? Oh, Lord, we thank you for the urchins. We thank you, Lord, for the congregation. I don't know, Lord, they might have some kind of problem, but they know all about your problem. We pray, Lord, that they will come to you and say, where it says, ask, and it shall be given. Seek. And ye shall find, knock, and the door shall be opened unto you. Thank you, Lord. Pray for the musicians, dear God. Oh, Father, thank you. Bless this service. Bless the one that's going to stand in John's shoe. And say what thus saith the Lord. In Jesus' name, we do humbly pray. Amen. Amen. And amen. 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 Now we're here from our announcing clerk. Amen. Good morning, New Light. Good morning. Today is Sunday, September the 10th, 2023. Giving all praises to God, to Pastor McCormick, and all ministers on the roster. These are the announcements for today and week. On September the 17th, 2023, during morning worship service, New Light Ebenezer Baptist Church will be celebrating its 56th church anniversary. Amen. Our guests will be Reverend Michael T. Moore, pastor at Greater Mount Moriah Primitive Baptist Church. Sundays at 9.30 a.m., we have Sunday school led by Deacon Bryant. Amen. Wednesdays at 12 p.m., we have Bible study. Also on Wednesday at 6 p.m. via Zoom, we have our sisterhood class, Sister Jackie Allen. Amen. Thursdays at, uh, from 7 p.m. to 8.30 p.m., we have sanct Sanctuary Choir Rehearsal. Amen. Mm -hmm. At this time, we're asking any visitors to please stand. Amen. 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 <laughs> Welcome. Amen. Welcome. Here at the New Light Ebenezer Missionary Baptist Church, there is a standing invitation to you each week. Pastor McCormick and members of the light are glad that you have chosen to worship with us today. We trust that something may be said or done that would strengthen your life. May God be with you and come back and visit with us again. Amen. Amen. Sister Irma Harvey Shannon, announcing clerk, Reverend Joseph C. McCormick, pastor. Thank Amen. you. Now y'all can move me later, but let's give our pastor a hand as he comes. <laughs> Good morning, New Light. Good morning, New Light. Good morning, New Light. Good morning. Good morning. Yes, amen. This is the day that the Lord has made. Yes, Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. 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 It has been a wonderful day already. Amen. I'm so excited. Amen. Um, I want to make sure that uh, I have some uh, remarks here, but uh, I want to welcome all our guests. Amen. Those who are watching us virtually and then those who are with us personally, I mean in person, thank you for coming. Thank you for being here. We know you had other choices and other opportunities, but you chose to be here today. Amen. And so we are glad and so feel welcome, welcome, and welcomed again. Amen. Amen. And if you want to join, let's just let us know. Just Amen. let us know. Amen. Amen. We'll take you right on in. Amen. 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 Um, so we have um, introduced somebody this morning. Uh, we have a young man who is um, attending Houston Tilson University, Amen. and he is a music major, um, and uh, his name is Dorian Verner. Amen. Amen. 
And uh, he, is, he, is, he is auditioning for us this morning. Amen. And so we're looking at him closely, and he's looking at us closely. Amen. <laughs> amen, amen. But we're glad to have him. Amen. Uh, so amen. thank you so much for being here. Amen. Let me also say that we had, um, we had baptism this morning. Amen. And amen. Ms. Tasha amen. served. Amen. I am so proud of her uh, because uh, you know, it, it, it is not an easy thing to do. And uh, I want to make sure that I thank all of the various uh, auxiliaries, our trustees, our deacons, our deaconesses, um, uh, who else? Uh, some other folk who are taking pictures, uh, our clerk, church clerk, um, and others who were helping with that whole process. Amen. It's a team effort. Yes, right? Team effort. And uh, they, uh, they, they do a good job, and I want to make sure that they all are recognized. And so thank you so much for your, for your help and your aiding. Now, I'll be back with you, in this, you know, after, after, this, after the sermon here. So we'll, we'll have something for you. Amen. 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 Reverend Shields, thank you. Our ministers, thank Amen. you. Reverend Miller, thank you all for your assistance this morning. Amen. Now, I think we're at the, uh, if I, is there anything that I'm missing? All right, I have to look. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Good, good. All right. We are at the point in time where we have intercessory prayer. Amen. Intercessory prayer is an opportunity for those who would like to come down front. Um, and we will, I will pray uh, and pray for those who are down front as well as for all of the various things that are going on for, for other people everywhere. Uh, and so this is the time that we do that. What I always do first, though, is I always recite these two scriptures. It says, um, bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse, that there may be meat in mine house. And prove me not herewith, saith the Lord of hosts. If I will not uh, open up, open the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing, that there may, shall may not be room enough to receive it. Malachi 3 and 10. And then be careful for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. Philippians 4 and 6. Amen. 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 And you can start moving toward uh, uh, the center here if you'd like. Uh, and um, again, if you want to just stand where you are, you can do that as well. All right. Or if you want to, however you want to do that. Amen, amen, amen. Amen. Father, our Father, our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Father, once again, we do not take it for granted that we are allowed to come before your throne of grace. You've given us an opportunity, the Lord, to stand and to sit where we are and to pay homage to you and to lift your name. But first, the Lord, we just want to say thank you. Thank you, the Lord, for getting us 
out of our beds this morning. Allowing us to clothe ourselves and allowing us to put one foot in front of the other, the Lord, and move toward the church house, Heavenly Father. Thank you, the Lord, for getting us here, the Lord, and for another opportunity to lift your name, to say thank you for all that you have done. Dear Lord, we we want to pray, dear Lord, for this nation. This nation is in turmoil. Matter of fact, the world is in turmoil. We want to pray for the president of the United States. His cabinet and all the Senate and the House. We want to pray for the governor's mansion. The governor and his staff and all those who are elected at the state level. I want to pray the Lord for the county. County judge, the commissioner's court, and all staff at the county. And then our city council and the father that would include the mayor and vice mayor and council members. All city staff, wherever they may be. Dear Lord, we want to make sure we lift up all badged officers. All badged officers, dear Lord. Those who carry, who wear a badge and those who carry a gun or, do, or don't carry a gun, however it may be, dear Lord, but we're lifting them up to you. We're asking you to touch them, Heavenly Father, and help them make the right decisions, dear Lord, when they're carrying out their duties, Heavenly Father. Each and every one of them, dear Lord, whether or not they be elected or whether or not they be appointed, dear Lord, anybody that's over, that has authority over people, we ask the Lord to touch them, Heavenly Father, and help them to do the right thing by the people. Oh, Lord, thank you, Lord, for how you've, how you're blessing New Light Everybody's about to church. We don't count it for granted, dear Lord. No. It's a blessing each and everything that you do for us. You've been gracious. You've been kind. You've been loving. You've been caring. Those of us who have kind of fallen away, Heavenly Father, dear Lord, we're praying for them. We're praying for them, dear Lord, that you would intercede the Lord and that you would touch them Heavenly Father and direct them the Lord and have them to come on back home the Lord we thank you Heavenly Father for all our visitors those that are in person and those that are watching us virtually Now, Lord, those who are standing before, even those who are sitting, we don't know, dear Lord, all that's going on. We don't need to know all that's going on. Lord, we just lift them up to you. Ask, dear Lord, that you will intercede on their behalf, dear Lord, and, and be in the midst of their lives. And be so close, dear Lord, that they can't help but notice you. They'll notice you, notice you being there close to them, dear Lord, and that they may have confidence to move forward, dear Lord. Whether it be financial situations, whether it be physical situations, whether it be psychological situations, whether it be family situations, whether it, whether it be just loneliness, dear Lord, or depression, dear Lord, or illness of any kind, dear Lord. We just ask, dear Lord, that you, you touch Touch, Lord. Touch, Lord. Thank you, the Lord, for our young man who is with us this morning, student over at Houston Tillerson University. He's 
long way from home. But it's up to us, the Lord, to make sure he is okay doing well while he is transitioning through. Dear Lord, you allowed us to baptize someone this morning. To bring someone into your kingdom. Lord, that's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. And so we say thank you. Thank you for our choir and our musicians and our ushers and our deacons and deaconesses and our trustees and all the, those our clerk, all those who who help to make new light Ebenezer Baptist. All our teachers, the Lord, who teach the word, the Lord, to us, whether it be for our youth or whether it be for our adults, the Lord. I see our youth choirs up here today. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We know, dear Lord, that they will provide us with song today and be with them as they do, Heavenly Father. Those who are still at home and maybe sick and shut in, or those who may be with us and still not feeling well, we lift them up to you. Ask your special blessings upon them, dear Lord, that, that they may feel better, dear Lord, as they go out throughout the day and throughout the week. Now, Lord, we're going to go up a little higher. We thank you, dear Lord, for, for what you've already done. Thank you for what's already transpired. We ask you to be in the midst of us. The rest of the service. Help me, Lord, as I bring a word from your biblical bit. Thank you, Lord. 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 In the precious name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. 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 We're in the hands of our ushers who will give us direction Amen. in terms of tithes and offerings. We'll hear from our music department and then we'll come back with a word from the Lord. Amen.
Lord, we thank you, Lord, for those who had it to give and gave. We thank you, Lord, for those who wanted to give but didn't have it. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for what has been given and that it will be provided for the upbuilding of your kingdom. In Jesus Christ's name, our Lord, amen. Amen. amen.
give them a hand clap, a hand clap of praise. Let's give them a hand clap of praise. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. Amen. Thank you so much for that Amen. good song. Thank you so much, young ones. Amen. Amen. They're growing in numbers. Amen. And I'm, I'm excited about that. I'm excited about that. Amen. 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 <sighs> All right. All right. Here's a word from the Lord. Amen. Amen. Feel like that? <laughs> All right. Starting at First uh, John, fifth chapter. First John, fifth chapter. First John, fifth chapter. And uh, let me make sure I uh, remind everybody that we have Sunday school at 9.30. Amen. One of the best teachers in, Amen. in the state of Texas. Amen. I do say so myself. Amen. And then we have Bible study on Wednesday at noon. Amen. And uh, so that is a, two opportunities by which one can partake Amen. in the word of God. All right. First John, fifth chapter. Verse 17. Verse 17. It is this wise. It says, All unrighteousness is sin. And there is a sin not unto death. We know that whosoever is born of God sinneth not. But he that is begotten of God keepeth himself and then keepeth himself and that wicked one toucheth him not. Uh -huh. And we know that we are of God uh -huh. and the whole world lieth in wickedness. Verse 20 And we know that the Son of God is come and hath given us an understanding that we may know him that is true, and we are in him that is true, even in his Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. This is the true God and eternal life. That is the reading of the word Amen. this morning. Amen. Amen. You can be seated. Yes. i like to tag the text this morning. Our learning and righteous living leans on our knowing. Our learning and righteous living leans on our knowing. Leans on our knowing. Now I know there's not a whole lot of preaching on sin these days. Sin is not something we talk about a lot at, on, from the pulpit, although it is front and center yes, yes. of why we're here. Right, right. Oh, yeah. And uh, it is a, it's, it's necessary. Uh -huh. And I like to go right at it. Yes, yes. I like to go right at it. So uh -huh. uh, bear with me today. I'm going to try to hunk it off. I got more than what I need. And, but I'm going to try to hunk it off and get, get us out of here in due time. Amen. Amen, amen. amen. What is sin? Uh, what is sin? And how do we live free of sin? Uh, good question. By keeping ourselves free from sin and unrighteousness. Two things are essential in order to live free of sin. Uh, we must, number one, know that all unrighteousness is sin. 
all unrighteousness is sin. Yes, yes. Too many people think too lightly of sin. They rank sins like other things, feeling that some sins are not so bad and are more acceptable to God. They feel that some sins are small. All right. Others are big. Some sins are white. Others are black. Some sins are more permissible. Others are less permissible. And even some sins are more acceptable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And others are less acceptable. But note what the scripture says, all unrighteousness is sin. There's not a single act of unrighteousness that is not sin. There is only one sin that is ranked as a sin unto death. And the sin, as we've talked about it in the past, that sin is either apostasy, which is denying of Jesus Christ, is the son of God. And there are people who do that today. They deny Jesus Christ as being the Son of God. Uh, or also the uh, abstinent and the persistent sin that just refuses to repent. People who persistently sin and they refuse to repent. This is the ultimate sin, the unpardonable sin. But God does not list this sin to say that we can commit all the others and get away with it. He tells us about the sin on the death, and you know we need to be we need to be we need to heed to that. We can turn away from Christ too often, though, if we don't understand what sin is all about. Amen. So often do we become engulfed and encrusted with sin. So hardened that we cannot break away. We doom ourselves if we continue to sin. And all unrighteousness is sin. No matter how small, no matter how white or how permissible or how acceptable uh, they may be. uh, The act of unrighteousness is sin. And it is sin to God. And if we persist in it, we are moving toward becoming engulfed and encrusted in it that we border on the sin unto death. This point is this. The way we live free of sin is to know that all unrighteousness is sin. There is not an act of unrighteousness that is not sin. No matter what we think, No matter how we may rank them, uh, there is no rank of sin with God. Sin is sin. Sin is sin. We must repent and forsake all sin. Know that all unrighteousness, uh, unrighteousness acts or unrighteous acts are sin. And if we are to live free, then we have to live free of sin. Number two, though, I'm not in my points yet. The two things that keep us from sin. We must be born of, the, of God yes. and put ourselves under the keeping power of God's Son, yes. the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. This is a difficult thing to do sometimes. Mm. Looking at several translations, you know, you may be able to understand, but then understand that there are four things for us to know. Four things for us to know. Starting at verse 18 now. Uh, we know that uh, whatsoever is born of God sinneth not. My first point is that we know that accepting Jesus as our, and into our lives promotes an everlasting change. Accepting Jesus into our lives promotes an everlasting change. I don't know about you, but I, right. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm looking to have an everlasting change yeah. Yeah. in my life, yeah. promoting toward heaven. Yeah. The believer 
abstains from sin. There are two ways uh, this verse is to be demonstrated. First, the believer has a new nature that does not sin. Galatians 5 and 16 says uh, that every and our victory uh, over sin is determined by the degree to which we walk by the Spirit. When you live by the Spirit, I'm not talking about uh, willful determination. I'm not talking about keeping New Year's resolutions. I'm not talking about the power of positive thinking. No, no, no. Satan cannot touch us uh, if we're in the spirit. All right. But he sure enough can touch you if you're trying to deal with your, your New Year's resolutions. Yeah. Yeah. He'll meet you right there at every resolution. Yeah. Everyone that you failed to maintain, he'll meet you right there. Right there, right there. Yeah, he'll be right there when you're talking about, I've got positive thinking. He'll be looking at you, yeah, yeah, you, 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 yeah, just, I'm going to wait on you, yeah. You're going to fall in a minute. Mm -hmm. And you got willful determination that you're going to muscle it up. You're going you're gonna to manhandle it, a woman handle it. No, no, you ain't strong. The devil got, the devil knows your buttons. He knows which buttons to push. He knows how to get you looking over there while he's got something else going over here. Yeah, he knows. He knows how to do it. And then the second thing is, is the word sinneth not, which means to con continuously sin, right? It means continuously sin. We aren't destined to remain stuck in sin. Of course, we as Christians, we commit sin. We do commit sin. Yes, we do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Show sure enough. Yes, Tell the truth, shame the devil. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We, 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 we commit sin, but they, you know, but we ask God for forgiveness, right? Amen. And then they can, you know, and then we continue on serving God. Amen. See, that's, that's the difference. Uh -huh. we, 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 ask for, we, we ask for forgiveness, we repent of those sins and then we keep on serving it's the serving aspect that keeps us out of hot water so either way the person born of God, of God does not sin around God the gospel uh, brings purity in conduct straightened behavior and desire to follow God's way where the gospel is received conduct improves in character yeah, 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 where, yeah, where, 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 where gospel, the gospel is received. Okay, now, I'm not saying where, I, mean, I said received. I mean, you bring it, that means you, you embrace it, you bring it in, you, you get it into your, into your soul, you get into your sight. That's receiving it. That's when conduct improves. Now, if you just let it go through one ear and out the other, and you're not paying attention to it, and you could care less, nothing's going to be received. And they're going to have an issue. My second point, though, here is this. Uh, we know, okay, again, we got four things to know, right? We know that our accomplice keeps and protects. Our accomplice. Our accomplice walks with us. He talks with us. He tell us he, we are his very own. Yeah. <laughs> Our accomplice. Yeah, he, yeah, yeah he, he's, he's with us. He's with us. And if you're in the spirit, he's with you now. Yeah, yeah, yeah he, 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 he's with you. Uh, he that is begotten of God, which is Christ, keepeth himself, all right, which is the believer, and that wicked one touches him not. Christ keeps us. Amen. Text is properly translated, understand, speak of the protection of the believer by Jesus Christ. Security is not in the action of the believer, but in the action of the Savior. Yeah, 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 yeah. Our security 
It's not in our grip on Christ, but his grip on us. We not only keep, I, 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 I apologize up front so, so that you know I'm going to talk about sin today. I know a lot of folks don't talk about sin, but I, 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 I'm going right at it. I'm going right at it. I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm just going right at it. Because I think we need it. I think we need it. We not only keep the Lord's commandments. We are kept by the Lord. And though the devil is always actively pursuing us, he cannot lay hands upon us because we are kept by who? Jesus Christ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a hedge of protection. A hedge of protection around us. And nothing can get to us unless he says so. Nothing can get to us. We are protected from the evil one's plans for us by Jesus. All right. And the evil one is always planning. That's right. Always. It doesn't mean believers are immune to the issues of life, the trials and the tribulations of life. The Bible will have no part uh, of that nonsensical teaching which says we cannot, we can be free uh, of sickness and, and all those other. No, we can't be free of that stuff. That's right. Oh, that's part of life. Uh-huh. That's part of life. It's all on the shelf. It's all on the tray. It's part of life. And we all must move through it. Yes. Right. We all must move through it. But what the Bible does guarantee is our ultimate rescue from all such pains and the tears. But while here on earth, we will most certainly partake in the trials everyone else does. That's right. Yeah. You're right. It'll rain on the just and the unjust. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Even the heathen will get blessed every now and then. That's right. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, they, they, they get a blessing. Uh-huh. They, they do. That's right. God's still waiting on them. Uh-huh. There's a blessing for them. Amen. He's still waiting on them. And so we must understand that. If ye were of the world, the world would love his own. Uh-huh. But because ye are not of the world, but I have chosen you uh-huh. out of the world, therefore the world hateth you. Uh-huh. The world hateth you, Satan hates you, and Satan's demons hate you. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Understand that. You, you, you gotta understand because that's 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 part and part of the of the plan and the process. Uh-huh. You see, uh, yeah. The, see, the devil wants to make sure uh, that he can get your attention. Uh-huh. Uh, like I said before, he uh, he gives us an anesthetic every now and then. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, an anesthetic, you know, <laughs> kind of gets kind of kind of kind of lulls us to sleep, kind of rocks us, you know. The stuff we like to see, you yeah. uh-huh. you put it in front of us, you know, we, and we like that. And we don't change. We just, we go right with it, see. Uh-huh. We go right with it. And this next thing you know, he got us all the way down the street, uh-huh. looking at something we ain't supposed to be looking, doing something we ain't not supposed to be doing, driving someplace we're not supposed to be going, you know, spending money we don't even have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, 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 he wants you in trouble. Uh, then my third point is, uh, 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 we, the, the, the verse says in verse 19, it says, we know that we are of God. Uh-huh. Okay? The point is that we know that we have our assurance uh-huh. in God. We have an assurance in God, right? The text, First uh, John 5 and 13, which uh, we looked at some time ago, uh, uh, speaks of the fact that we can indeed have assurance of our salvation. Yeah. Yeah. When one does not know or is in doubt, he will not do well in his Christian performance. Yeah. But we can know with certainty. The Bible says so. That we can know with certainty those who say we cannot know argue with the bible and with common sense common sense asks what why god would insist that the most important thing in our life 
is gaining salvation if we could not know whether or not we had gained it or not. Yes. We wouldn't do that. It is the most important thing. And so we know there's a knowing that occurs. We belong to God. In verse 16, there is a test sometimes. Uh, the test is uh, to see the Christians, the Christian brothers and sisters sitting in a way that does not lead to death. You, you should pray for them. Yes, you will. You should pray. Pray for them. Yes, yes pray. Yes. Pray for one another. But let me ask you a question. Do, do I believe in the true Jesus? Is that right? Do I obey God? All right. Do I love my brothers and my sisters? And I'm not talking about blood relations. All right. I'm, talking about the, I'm talking about Christian brothers and sisters. Uh -huh. mm. And if yes is the general direction of, of, this life, of my life, then I can know that I am from God. Uh -huh. Because I don't start to do that until God gets in me. Otherwise, it's what? It's all about me. It's all about me. It's all about Dusty. Yeah, Dusty. It's, it's all about Dusty. You know, Dusty doesn't care about nobody else. Dusty wants what Dusty wants. That's my nickname for those of you all that don't know. That's my nickname. That's my old self, Dusty. And you got an old self, too. That's right. Yes, you do. Don't, don't, don't act like you don't. You got an old self. Ah. Yeah, yeah, you got an old self. Yeah. And, 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 and you, got a, you, got, you got a battle with that old self. Every day. Hour on hour. Minute on minute. You got a battle with that old self. They'll pop its head up every now and then, you know. You know, you know it, 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 it'll, just, it'll just seep out. You know, you know, and, 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 and when you know, when you know, when you know you're getting in that, in that mood, or, you know, sometimes you just have to steal away. Oh, yeah. right. So that nobody has an opportunity to be uh, impacted by that old self. Right. Right. That old self might say something uh -huh. off the wall, uh -huh. uh, out of context, uh -huh. just to say something, uh -huh. just to start something. Uh -huh. You know how we used to be. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, 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 yeah. So we got to do that. So the conviction here is that we belong to God. Amen. It sets us apart from the world. John it says, "Sin lies in the power of the evil one." Uh -huh. So we, we 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 do not allow this through Christ. Right. We belong to God. Amen. Right. One more thing about one more thing about uh, well two more things about uh, the things we ought to know. Uh, it says, uh, verse 19 says, this whole world lieth in what? Wickedness. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Did y'all, I mean, am I, this, is this the first time you heard that? I mean, are y'all reading the newspaper? Are y'all, are y'all looking at the internet? Are y'all, you know, li watching TV? Are you listening to the news? Uh, this, are you getting some kind of indication from that, that the world's in wickedness? Ah. We know our assessment of the world because the Bible talks about it. Uh -huh. The Bible pre-talks about it, right? It tells us what it's going to be. Uh -huh. The Bible knows. Why? Because it's, it's the American word of God. Scholars say that wickedness means the wicked one, but it does not make any difference whether we say wickedness or the wicked one. The results are the same. The world is vile, sinful, and evil. It reeks of high heaven of the stink and not and the and the rot of sin. Uh -huh. The stink and the rot of sin. Uh -huh. The stink and the rot of sin. Uh -huh. It's bad. Yeah, it is. Real bad. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. John assured his readers uh, in verse 19 that he and all believers were not under the control of the devil. God is not only the source of salvation, but he is also the sustainer right. of salvation. All right. The whole world is in the grip of the devil, uh, but the Christian is safe in the arms of who? Jesus. 
right. Y'all don't know when to shout. Let me, let me, y'all don't know when to shout. I, am I in the right church or not? Right. Let me read it again. The, the, the whole world is in the grips of the devil, but the Christian is in the safe arms of Jesus Christ. Yeah, 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 yeah. That, 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 that's, that's what's going right. on. And so the world, if we know that, that's our environment. If we know the world is like that, yeah. understand that's what you're walking through every day. Uh-huh. That's what you meet, who you're meeting every day. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's who you're saying hello to every day. Woo, uh-huh. <laughs> you know, and they're saying hello back uh-huh. with an agenda. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just understand, it's, 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 they got an agenda now. Uh-huh. The devil has them on an agenda. Uh-huh. They, they may be demonic. And, and, and walking down the street waiting for you to come down. Uh-huh. Ready to dig a ditch for you. Uh-huh. So you, you can fall in. Uh-huh. I tell you, I said, God don't like ugly. God don't like ugly. Right. And he don't care too much about pretty either. Right. You know what I'm saying? You dig a ditch for somebody else, guess what? Uh-huh. That ditch may have your name on it. Right. You may not see the name, but this may have your name on it. Uh-huh. Your God will say, well, walk you on right on down in your ditch. Uh-huh. I know you did it for somebody else. Right. But it's your ditch. All right. See, see, we gotta understand. John showed his readers that 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 uh, the Christian is safe in the arms of Jesus. All right. The Bible says, "For who we wrestle, not against flesh and blood, right. but who against who principalities, against powers, and uh, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness and in high places." Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, now, now, I know, now, now I know this. I, I know sometimes it's hard because you said, I, 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 I saw them, and I, I saw them when they had the rock in their hand, and I saw when they threw the rock, and I saw it when they hit me. Uh-huh. It's them. I know it's them. I saw them. You know, we get that convincing, right? But it's the devil within. It's not really them. We wrestle not against flesh and blood. So don't retaliate against flesh and blood. Uh-huh. You know, pray, pray. about this yes. principalities uh-huh. and uh, about uh, the rulers of the darkness and uh, in this world and uh, spiritual wickedness uh, in high places, even in spiritual wickedness, even in low places. Mm. Yeah, because it, it, it's high, it gets high, it gets low. So so don't so 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 don't 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 take it out on on the individual. Don't take it, you know, don't, don't further uh, their pain. Don't further their hurt. You don't know where they are. You don't know what they're dealing with. A lot of folk, mad, face all screwed up, they're dealing with a whole lot of things, a whole lot of things. Like, look like they've been weaned on a dill pickle or something like that. Too. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, but they, they, they throw them through stuff. You've gone through stuff. Yes. Uh-huh. Right? Uh-huh. Come on now, talk back to me. You've gone through stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I've gone through stuff. Yeah. Going through stuff right now. Yeah. Right now. Right yeah. now. Yeah, man. You know, it, 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 it's, it's, but you can't, you, you, you can't retaliate against flesh and blood. Come on. Come on. The quickest way to your solution is the distance between your knees and the flow. Pray about it. Pray for them. Pray for yourself. And pray for everybody in the midst. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Fifth point. Fifth point. Uh, and we said, we, we, we know that the Son of God is come. Uh-huh. <laughs> but the, my point I want to make is we know of the arrival of Him who is the way to God. That's right. We know, we know, we know what the arrival is. We know about the arrival. Uh, the learning, uh, the, uh, the knowing includes uh, about the coming of Christ, right? Uh, it is come, C-O-M-E. Uh, not came, okay, come. Which means there is a twofold arrival. Yes. All right, yeah. There's a twofold arrival, right? Uh, there is the, the incarnate arrival. Uh-huh. The come includes the, the incarnation with Christ came to earth as a man to be uh, the sacrifice for our sins. Uh-huh. Aren't you glad about it? Yeah. Should have shouted about it. That's your shout right there. 
That's a shot right there. But, but, then, but then you got this other one now. This, this, and that's, good, that's what's good. That's so good. The, the, other, the indwelling arrival. All right. All right. It, it, that's the come. Uh, also speaks of the indwelling of Christ in the believer and in the church. Yeah. Right? While he departed in his glorified body back to heaven, yeah. yet he is here in his presence in the church. Yeah. His coming was not like that of a meteor or anything like that. Not like a flat, not like he was flashing across the sky uh, and then he's gone. No, 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 no. He remains in the followers. Yeah. He remains inside of us. Yeah. Uh, right here on earth. Right. The, the Bible says, greater is he that is in me than is he that is in the world. Yeah. If, he, if he's in me, that means he's in me right here. Right. 4703, Reyes, yeah. Austin, Texas, 7721. Yeah. Right here. Right here. Yeah, yeah. Finally, John says that we know that the Son of God has come and has given us understanding. Uh, John has told us that of, of, of life uh, that you know, was found in him. Jesus not only showed us how, but uh, made way for us to go to God. Uh, he explained God is uh, he explained God to us the father is seen by looking at the son alright All right? by knowing Jesus John says we can know him who is true That's all right. and all right. we are in him who is true yeah. and in his son Jesus Christ Amen. Amen. the reality of God can only be known through Jesus but once you accept Jesus, you can not only know God, but be in God. Uh -huh. And God be in you. It's all right. The relationship is, is the most profound of intimacy. It's all right. The most profound. The oneness of God. Uh -huh. The oneness of God. Oneness with God is a wonderful thing. Uh -huh. Your oneness with God is a wonderful thing. Right. If you don't know, that means you ain't got close to him yet. Because if you do, if you got close to him, you'd know that's a benefit. Yeah. It's not a disadvantage, it's a benefit. Right. To be close to God is, means that you, you're close to the word of God. It means you're close to what the blessings are. You're close to where it's all about. Okay. All right. Yeah. My last point. Last point. Talks about it, says, and hath given us an understanding that we may know him that is true and we are in him that is true even in his son Jesus Christ Amen. this is the true God and eternal life this thing we may know uh -huh. we may know this is a this is an absolute blessing uh -huh. you, you, you you're looking at me, uh, no, no, no how is that no okay let me, let me, let me. we may know refers to the knowledge gained by experience in knowing intimately and just not 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 just intellectually okay let me let me, let me say that again referring to knowledge gained by experience which means there's an interaction between you and god all right that's the part that's 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 the good part of god he allows us to experience him in life as we go through it, it means he's walking with us then we get a chance to know him yeah. more and more oh, yeah. by how we walk with him yeah. and how we experience life, yeah. how we talk to him, yeah. how we sit there and listen to him, yeah. how we pray to him. Yeah. He gets to know that. Yeah. It's about experiencing him. Yes. In the present, it talks about, uh, uh, what, what, which is, is, is stresses this thing called the appropriation, which is the taking of knowledge rather than the possession of we we don't have the possession of right. right off the bat we have some uh -huh. we have some but there, but we need more uh -huh. and when you got it all guess what it's time for you to go right. none of us got it all uh -huh. i'm looking at you right now right. you still here yeah. you looking at me yeah. and i'm looking at you yeah. that means we ain't got it all yeah. we still on the road trying to get to it and we and we and we're experiencing God as we go. Yes. It's an understanding. 
Understanding Christian truth is not a matter of mastering doctrinal formulation or it, it, although it's important, it is uh, uh, or grasping philosophical ideas, although it sounds good, but of meeting, knowing, and submitting to the person who is the truth. Yeah. So that we may know him who is true. Amen. And we may know him Amen. as he goes throughout the day. Uh -huh. And we may know him as he walks with us. Amen. And we may know him as he talks to us. Yeah. And we may know him as he soothes us. Yeah. And we may, we may know him as he says, hey, come on, don't yeah. worry about that. Yeah. Sit down. Amen. Settle down. Yeah. I got that. I got, that. I got you. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Settle down. Yeah. Relax yourself. Yeah. I got this. I'm going to have that. I don't see down the road. I know what's down there. You settle down. Be quiet. Settle yourself. I got this. I got you. Woo. In summary, we, are, we know that, that the four things that ensures we are saved from sin. Uh, one is, number one, is that we know that uh, accepting Jesus into our lives promotes an everlasting change. Uh -huh. We know that uh, uh, our uh, accomplice keeps us and protects us. Yeah. And then we know that we have our own uh, assurance within God, right? Uh -huh. And then we know uh, of the assessment of the world, yeah. the wicked world, right? Yes. Uh -huh. uh, and then we know of the arrival of him who is the way to God. Yeah. Right. And then this last thing, that we may know uh -huh. the almighty oh, yeah. experientially. Yeah. That's the full part. <laughs> that we may know. And give us the opportunity of knowing. All we gotta do is embrace him. That's what we gotta do. Jesus, Jesus will, he'll help us overcome whatever it is. We belong to God. Jesus, Jesus is the way. You, you don't have to follow the course of the world. No. You don't need that. You don't have to, you, you, you can claim victory now. Because of him. He tells you in his word. Yeah. Uh -huh. We win in the end. Yeah. So don't worry about what's going on down there. I got it. That's what, that's what Jesus said. I got, set it, set. Sit down. I got this. I got you. He said, set it, set. Look, be quiet. Uh -huh. now, don't get too excited. This is set it, set. Uh -huh. I got this. I'm already down the road. I know about yesterday. I know about today. I know about tomorrow. I know it all at the same time. I know your life. Your individual life. Each and every hair on your head. I know it all. Woo. It makes it personal. Yeah, it does. You, you, you can have friendship and, and fellowship with Christ. Right? You can enjoy him as your father. Uh, all this made possible by Jesus works from the cross. Yes, it does. Works from the cross. If you, if you notice, that we have four things, right, that we talked about. And, and those four things are all about the salvation, the process, and the power of salvation. Salvation of the soul has lasting results. Yeah. Aren't you glad about it? Yeah. The lasting results. Yeah. Yes. Lasting. Everlasting. Yeah. Everlasting. Yeah. Everlasting. Yeah. Everlasting. Yeah. Everlasting. Yeah. Everlasting. Yeah. That's longer than I'm going to live. Yeah. I, tell, I tell you that for sure. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. The new birth produces a new behavior in us. The saved person does not develop a habit of sin because we are kept by Jesus Christ. Yeah, right. And you say, well, 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 how? How do we? How? And how is that possible? Oh, I'm glad you asked. I'm glad you asked. He came down for it in two generations. Yeah. Yeah. He he left glory he left his crown up there he left all his clothes his royal clothing up there and he came down and he was in, he was the immaculate conception yeah into a woman who knew no man mary right to a woman who knew no man and and and, and he he did his own prenatal care yeah yeah he took care of himself What he said, I got you. Don't worry about it. Sit yourself down. Be quiet. I got this. That's part of that, right? It's all prenatal care. 
Oh yeah, and, and, and so he was here, and then and then they, you know his parents took him to another city, and then he, you know grew up to be a, a young man, and, to, and then to start his public ministry, uh -huh. started recruiting the twelve uh -huh. imperfect people, uh -huh. people with problems, uh -huh. people with issues, uh -huh. people that had some concerns, yeah. uh -huh. people that, that were not well, yeah. people that that, that, that was still fearful about yes. things, they didn't know, and they didn't know him. It's all right. That's how he is, though. Uh -huh. Imperfect people, right? Uh -huh. That's who he needs. He needs the imperfect people. Yes. Help. And so he had the 12 imperfect people, and he taught them the word of God. Uh -huh. And he preached before many. Uh -huh. And he taught them more how to, how to bless folk uh -huh. and how to cure folk. Yeah. Uh, he, what did he tell Lazarus? Come forward. Uh -huh. He called Lazarus by his name. Yeah. Because if he said, Come forward, guess what? Everybody. Everybody would got up yes. and came forward. You don't want that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, and, 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 and so he, he and, and for his trouble, for blessing the world, for being here to save our soul, he was on his way to Calvary. And guess what? They put their dirty hands on him. They put their dirty hands on him. They put him on a whole rugged cross. They, they put nails in his hands and stakes in his feet. And he said, don't lift me up now. If I be lifted, I'll draw. I draw all men unto me. I'm not. I didn't. I haven't said anything. All three, all six kangaroo courts. But I'm telling you now, don't lift me up. That's that, that's your mistake if you do that. But they lifted him anyway. They lifted him anyway. And he was there on Friday, between six and ninth hour. His head dropped between the locks of his shoulders, and he died. He knew why he was there. He was there for you. 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 For you. For you. To the sixth and ninth hour, he dropped his head. And, 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 and he died. Yeah, he did. He died. He died. He died. He died. He died. They took him off the cross and put him in an old borrowed tomb. Uh, and, 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 and then he was there the rest of Friday. He was there the rest of Friday. And then he stayed there all Friday night. You know, the time is the time to get the dress and go out and you know get the moving and, and you know, yeah, he was there through that hour. Yes. Even, even, now some of us like to go out real late. You know, we think we're gonna catch it right on time. Yes. If we go out about eleven o'clock or twelve o'clock, yes. yeah, he was still there. Yes. Right there. He was still there. And then early the next that next morning, Saturday, it was Saturday. Yes. Saturday early morning. Saturday late morning. Saturday noonday. Sadly, early afternoon, early evening, late evening, late, late evening, all the way up to 12 a.m. But early on Friday, on Saturday morning, early on Sunday morning, early on Sunday morning, he got up with all power in heaven and in earth. All power in heaven and earth. Why? Because of you. You, you, and you, and you, and you, and you, and you. And you. For everlasting life. Because you had it more abundantly. Uh -huh. Not because he wanted you to die. No, because you wanted you to have everlasting life. Uh -huh. And that's how he did it. Uh -huh. And so we must keep ourselves away from sin. Right. I know sin's not popular to talk about, but I'm just telling you. Uh -huh. Stay away from sin. Uh -huh. I'm just stay away from sin. Uh -huh. Stay away from sin. Do all you can to stay away from sin. Yeah. All right, the doors of the church are open. Amen. Amen. Doors of the church are open. Our usher is going to bring two seats down here, and for those who may be interested in knowing more about Jesus. For those who may be interested in knowing more about Jesus and, and what he's done. You may be here and maybe you need baptism. We baptize someone today and we like it. And so if you need baptism, we'd love to baptize you. Whenever you're ready, we'd love to baptize you. Maybe here or watch care. Just visiting the city. 
and you're gonna be here for a certain amount of time and you need somebody to look after you we love to be able to pray for you and watch after you while you're here until you go back to your own place of origin those three things come forward church members and friends and visitors. Today we have Jima House coming on the Christian experience. Amen. 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 We also have with us Eric Davis and thanks to God for his blessings and safety in travel while in Texas and going back to Michigan. Amen. Amen. 
So he will be under watch care Amen. while he's here. And then Miss House Amen. is joining the house. Amen. 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 Let me come down here. And, Amen. 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 Let me, let me shake their hands. So glad to have you. Amen. She, she has Amen. been so, um, she's come just about every Sunday. Amen. Amen. And then yeah. she joined us in Bible study Bible study. this yeah. week. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. 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 She didn't have to, but she did. Yeah. 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 And that's the thing you do, right? Amen. Amen. I want to let you know we're glad to have you. Amen. We're glad you're here. Amen. No, no, no. We're going we to love on you. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. We're going to love on you. Yeah. You know, and, and, Amen. That's what we do. Amen. 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 Well. I'm giving you the right hand of fellowship. You're a member of this church. Amen. You're right here the Baptist church. Thank you for your, for your membership. Thank you for coming. Be strong. Be with us. We're going to be strong with you. Uh -huh. Amen. And we are again. We're going to love you. Amen. 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 All right. All right. Oh, you have something. You want something to say? You want to speak to your clerk? I'm just glad to be in the midst. Amen. Amen. And have a membership with a church. Amen. Amen. It's a loving, friendly church. Amen. Soon. Okay, when you be back soon, you're coming to New Life. While you're here, we we'll put you on the watch camera. You know, we'll pray for you, pray with you, you know, and so through the struggle of life with you. You know, we know you might be a member of another church someplace else, and that's okay. Um, as long as you're a member of a church, Amen. and as long as you have God in your life. Amen. And so we're going to walk with you as you walk. Amen. Again, right. like I told Ms. House, we're going to love on you. Amen. Okay? We're going to love on you. I'm just, I'm sorry. Amen. 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 Thank you so much. Thank you so much, both of you. Amen. 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 Thank you so much. Now, now I, have, I have one other thing to do. One other thing to do. Bear with me, y'all. Bear with me. Bear with me. Bear with me. Keep one. Just keep one. Just keep one. Keep, keep one there. Keep one there. Bless you. All right. To Miss Sterling, Tasha Sterling. All right. She got plenty of friends. That's good. That's good. That's good. Now, now you didn't say much the day you came forward, so I'm going to give you the opportunity to say what you want to say. You can't hear me. Talk louder. Okay. All right. We're going to give you the opportunity to say something uh, to the congregation. All right. Can you do that? No? No? Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Well, and that's all right. That's all right. That's all right. That's all right. She told me what I needed to hear. Amen. Jesus Christ is her Lord and Savior. All right. And she knows he rose from the grave. Amen. All right. She knows that. She said it and she said it unequivocally. She didn't even waver when she said it. I didn't get the question out all together until she said all of it. Amen. 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 And so we, we want you to know that we're glad that you're here, though. Okay? Um, what I have for you is a certificate of, of son, a certificate of baptism. Amen. Okay. Amen. So you can, you can utilize that for, uh, for, for the purposes of uh, dating stuff and that type of thing. So you have that. You know, not, not, not dating, dating. Okay. <laughs> Make it plain. Oh, yeah, you gotta, you gotta make it plain. Make it plain. Make it plain. Yeah. 
if you have to have it to submit to some, you know, with an application or something like that, you can, you can do it. It talks about your age, the, 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 the date you had, all that. So that's what it's all about, all right? All right. So, and then, and then now, I always like, I always like to give a Bible, okay? Yeah. I like to give a, I like to give a Bible. Yeah. And this is the Bible, okay? Uh, this has the word of Christ in red, okay? So you know who's speaking when. It has a, a presentation page. It has a dictionary or concordance in the back. So you get a chance to look up words back there or look up passages back there in cross-reference. Then it has the plan of salvation in here. Okay? All right. Amen. And this is about now. I've gotten you, uh, I think, uh, three dividers here. I, I know who that was. I, I know who that was. Um, but, uh, but, uh, but so this is this is this is your Bible, okay? I'm giving this to you, all right? And you got those dividers, those dividers. Those, those, those dividers will speak to you to talk about salvation. They talk about you know what you need to do. What I'm going to ask you to do though, what I'm going to ask you to do. Come on is do not hesitate. Get involved in the church. Amen. Find Amen. yourself a place to work in the church. Amen. Because it's when you go home that the devil gets busy. Matter of fact, he may not even wait till you get home. That's right. He may not even wait till you get home. Time you hit the door. Matter of fact, he may be already in here. Yeah. Already in here, waiting on you. You see what I'm saying? She says she want to join the choir. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Wonderful. 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 Uh, 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 Brother McKinley will get your information, your name and number. He'll tell you when they're having practice. Um, they have practice once a week and uh, when you're where it's going to be at, what time and that type of thing. So just like, again, get involved as soon as you can. Amen. Don't hesitate. Amen. Because again, this is the time when the devil will be at his business. Yeah, he's still trying, you know, you know how hard it was for you and I to get together? It was, it was, week after week. I'm, I'm waiting, she's waiting, you know. But that, that's because he was, he, was, he was in the mix, you know. He was in the mix, so we don't want to give him any foothold. We want him. We want him to be angry going home today. Right. You know what I'm saying? We want him to be completely angry. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. You know what I'm saying? That kind of angry. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Now I've got one other thing I got. One other thing I got. You should, you should sit right here. I need some ladies to come forward and surround her. Amen. Amen. Some ladies. Amen. Need some ladies. Some ladies. I need Amen. some ladies. I need some ladies right. to come around. Amen. To come around her. Come on, please. It's around her. All right. That's good. Amen. 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 Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Get right, get, go, go right on in. Yeah, right on in. Yeah, you're fine. Go right there. That's fine. Yeah. Now, what this is, what this is, is a circle of love. Amen. For a new convert who has walked this path for her salvation. Amen. And what I want to do is I want to pray for her. Amen. Because it's going to get busy real quick. Amen. All right? And I want her to see the faces of, of those who are surrounding her. These are people who will love you, who will be there for you. They'll, they'll, they'll sit beside you. They'll hear you. They'll listen to your stories. They'll listen to your issues. Whatever it may be. Whatever, whatever it is. But they'll be there for you. The main thing is that they're going to love you. The main thing is that they're going to love you. So let me pray right now so that we start this thing off right. Amen? Our Father and our God, Natasha has walked this path of salvation 
to be baptized, yes, yes. to be raised yes, yes. as if she was resurrected, yes, yes. like you, Heavenly Father, yes. like your darling son. Yes. Dear Lord, we, we ask, dear Lord, that you be in the midst of her life. Yes. In the midst of her life. Uh -huh. All in it, dear Lord. Yes. And dear Lord, we ask, dear Lord, that you help to order her footsteps. Yes. So that she continues to go the right way. Uh -huh. Dear Lord, there'll be a battlefield of the mind. Yes. And dear Lord, we ask you to be with her next to her and then talk to her. Uh -huh. to, to say you love her, to let her know yes. you love her. And then, dear Lord, help us to be the church we need to be for yes. her. So that she knows that she has a place to come. Dear Lord, we ask you to be, the, to, to, we just saying thank you. Thank you for all that you have done in her life, all that you will do, all that we can't see that you're going to do. Dear Lord, we say glory today. Glory to God today. Glory to God for her life. Glory to God for her intentions. Glory to God for what she's going to do. Glory to God for, for, for her joining the choir. Dear Lord, we just say thank you. Thank you, Lord. We say thank you, Lord. Yes. So, so, dear Lord, we, we wanted to come and show this circle of love so that she would have no doubt yes. that she yes. made the right move. Yes. No doubt within the kingdom. Yes. We say these things in the precious name, precious the precious name, precious the one and only precious name, the Savior, yes. our Savior Jesus Christ. Yes. Amen? Amen. 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 Love on. That's right. Love on. <laughs> uh, the, the ushers are jealous. <laughs> the ushers are jealous. It's been a wonderful day. 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 for all that are here today, all that are part of our service, those who helped and assisted, and then you'll all be thank you, Lord, for our visitors. Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling, yes. and to present you faultless before his presence with exceeding great joy, to the only wise God, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and ever, and we all sing together.
hear what we're saying, man. Everybody has a big guy talking for him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's right. Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, my dog's crazy. I'll see you all soon. Okay, good. Like I said, I'll see you again. I guess this is a lot of trouble.